Maybe I'll finally get to sit down properly for once. And I'm not on call until the weekend, at least. <laughs> no actual resting until Tuesday. Sucks. But it is what it is. <laughs> no. I go in at 6 a.m. tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. No sleep tonight. Nah, don't leave. I don't know when we'll be able to get together again. It's fine. I can pull another all-nighter if I have to. <laughs> Seriously, just sit down. You can help me recharge by talking with me for a bit. Then, I'll let you go. Yeah, tell me about your day. How was work? Really? God, that sucks. Sorry to hear that. No, I get you. Sometimes people just don't listen. <sighs> That's just kind of how it is. The patient doesn't want to see you, but your senior gets mad if you don't get the labs at 3 a.m., because that patient refused their meds earlier in the day, and now you're stuck not knowing whether they might code on you. And when they do, the family wants to sue you for cracking a rib doing chest compressions while you were waiting for the rest of the team to come in. It happened a lot way back when I was a resident, but now I don't have to worry about that stuff anymore. Eh... Well, wounds are still bad to work with, but patients don't hate me as much like they did back then, so long as they don't have something I can't do much about. I mean, like the ones where it's too late to do anything to save that part of you. Nobody wants to get stuff cut off, but you need to sometimes, otherwise your skin gets... <laughs> yeah, I probably shouldn't go into that. Kinda nasty, honestly. And I do my best, and my track record's been pretty good so far. Maybe with some more outrage, we can make it even better. Prevent it before it gets to that point, so I don't have to have that talk with anyone. People listen more the last few times after some word of mouth from my patients, so I'll keep working on it. They do listen. Yeah, since I got a good reputation with my job. That's exactly why. <laughs> Shut up. No one says that about me. No one gives me weird looks like that. It's just normal ones. Yeah, like regular looks. No, I don't look good enough to stare at. Well... No one's told me that I am. Are you saying that then? <laughs> then what are you saying? Because I hope that you're not implying that people are going out and trying to find a serial killer that's on the loose in hopes of being sent specifically to my hospital on the off chance that they'll see me. Most people aren't unhinged enough to do that, or have weird tastes like that. Not everyone thinks getting shanked is as hot as you do. Yeah, and when you show up on the next true crime post as a victim, you won't be around to drool over the guy that did it. Ugh, you would be into that, wouldn't you? <sighs> Can you at least be safe with your kinks or something? I don't know, like, ask someone you know to, you know. Well, I'd hope it's not the same. You don't need me seeing you as a patient because you got a little too into it. Just don't go around inviting random serial killers into your house for sexy time. <sighs> Any serial killers. Of course. Why would you? Letting them in ruins the authenticity. For real, though. 
what is it about them that makes you so interested compared to, say, a regular guy? <sighs> if you want things to get dangerous, just ask him to let your mom plan the wedding while making his family foot the bill. Hey, at least you have the chance to run. Nor, I suppose, give him the chance to run from you. He'll probably run off way before that with the expectations you have for him. You don't get to play happy home life with a killer. While you're home, they're out there killing. You can either have your fantasy or the real deal. But trust me when I say that the real deal isn't whatever you came up with in your head. The killer on the loose isn't exactly who you think they are, and you're not going to get exactly what you want from them. So you better lock your door tonight, and don't go around telling anyone else where your spare key is, and maybe put it in a less conspicuous spot than under your doormat. Everyone puts them there, meaning serial killers know that you put it there. Try under a stack of old bricks or something, Throw them kind of haphazardly so it doesn't look like it was made intentionally. Put it next to a bunch of other junk lying around and you're golden. You can thank me later. <laughs> if you need me to, I'll hide it for you. And make sure that absolutely all of your windows and doors are locked. Because I care and want to protect you from yourself. It's not a waste. I'm already putting my energy into everyone else with my job. It's your turn. Cute or not, I've got to like whoever it is that I'm putting out extra effort for. I like you. I think it's the same, personally. Well, it doesn't change the fact that I want to keep you safe tonight and every night. Promise me you'll at least lock up tonight, okay? Yeah, that's fine. Get to it before it gets dark. And I've got things to take care of anyway. Plus, I've got to wake up early. Yeah, of course. Thanks for stopping by. See you soon, then. Quiet, or you won't remember any of this in the morning. And then we're gonna have to try this all over again. You have to be awake to see and hear and feel everything I do. You can't talk if you don't experience it firsthand. I need you to put in a good word for me with all of your friends. You've got to tell them how special you are, cute enough to keep as a witness, so you don't have to die today. There's something about hearing the words come out of a cute little thing like you when they interview you on the news. I'll make sure to watch it live, too. And I wouldn't miss it for the world. You've got to tell everyone how you were the only one I decided not to stab. Makes you wonder what the press will think. Maybe that a killer really does have a heart. Or that whoever you were into might be in danger if that killer wants you all to himself. <laughs> but it's especially funny to me that they won't even know how stupid they are for not realizing that they could be the same. But maybe I'm getting ahead of myself, because I'm not everything that you expected. <laughs> Somewhere in the back of your head, that killer must have been some guy off the street you can just put whatever face you find attractive to. Sorry to disappoint. You know, 
If you hadn't actually listened to me and put your key where I told you to, I might have very well just given up. I'm really sick of this, you know. I had to go through hell and back to get where I am right now. I have a reputation I've had to build up for years now. And here's a bunch of sick people happy to be stabbed just for the chance to see me. Like you said. But that wasn't even enough for you. A couple of stabbings here and there gave me lots of opportunities I wouldn't have had otherwise. At least I can thank you for that. But even that still isn't enough. <laughs> You're crazy, you know, to want someone like this. And look what I have to do to be like this. Indulging my vices takes a lot of work. It gives me more work to do later when I have to fix up the messes that I cause in the ones I can't fix. Well, they haven't been the most successful investment yet. I lost a lot in that, I think. The me from a few months ago isn't always here anymore. He shows up to work at six o'clock. But right now, it's just me. Well, it's me, but not that me. The doctor gets to play goody two-shoes, but not the killer. I get to have my vices while I reap the rewards of having more patience. Just so long as I don't mess up things before then. You are my vice. The very expensive one for the price I have to pay for you to even consider me. Well, are you happy? A lot scarier than you thought, right? Or maybe not. You already know I'm not going to hurt you. I could kill this off for good if I really wanted to, but whatever interest you might have dies with it. Still, I'll always be a killer. That's never going to go away. No one can ever know. I'll lose everything I worked for, and that side of me will die with it. No point in pretending if it's like that. You already know what I did for you. It could have been a lot easier if you were just a little more reasonable with your tastes in men. But that doesn't matter now. You won. You've got a killer who's desperately in love with you. Is that enough? <laughs> <laughs> is that what you want? Uh, and if it's someone you actually know, then you know what I'm going to have to do. <laughs> yeah. After that, I can never go back. The doctor still has to go to work. But the killer will always come back for you. <laughs> well, it's the doctor that lets the killer live out those desires. No one sees the blood behind the bandages, so I get to stay free. One slip up, and I never see you again. Maybe that'll help you appreciate what the doctor does for you. Not so disappointing when you get what you want out of it, huh? Maybe with time, you'll love the doctor too. But for now, I'll reap the benefits for both of us. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Prince Cairo, and thank you all for listening to yet another audio. If you're hearing this, then comment serial, spelled either way, under the video, and I'll leave a heart by your comment.
Special thank you goes out to all my patrons, especially that of my precious pets. Creek, Lunar, Venowin, Toka, T. Briscoe, Michelle, Nikki Pele, and Anna Venture. Thank you all so, so much for all that you do for me. It truly does mean the world to me, be a patron or not. If you're interested in getting audios early or not safe for extras, be sure to check out my Patreon. It'll be in the link tree in my pinned comment down below. Again, thank you all so, so much for all that you've done for me. I've been Prince Cairo, and remember that your prince loves you all. Mm.